to our forecast, Jonathan. It feels like a completely different day outside. What a difference 24 hours can make. It really does. And it really depends upon where you are. Some of us are feeling the same, but in Roanoke, as you mentioned, much, much warmer than yesterday. We have a nice little pocket of clouds that have drifted over into the Roanoke Valley. Live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Sky Cam. We can kind of see the clouds, some of the lights reflecting off of that low overcast right now. Temperatures, though, right around 70. As Jenna mentioned, huge difference from yesterday when we were waking up the temperatures. In the upper 50s, also note the dew point with the clouds there. We had a few sprinkles, some of that moisture going up, so our humidity a little bit higher in across Roanoke Valley as well. But note the divide here. We have clouds through Smith Mountain Lake as well, but look at this 59 in Martinsville, upper 50s, lower 60s in Danville as well, 59 in South Boston. So much, much cooler, about 10 to 15 degrees cooler where we don't have the clouds. That's one of the main roles that clouds play overnight, especially it does not allow the temperature to drop as quickly as you would on a clear night. Big area of high pressure still remains. Notice the clouds though south of that area of high pressure. We'll see some of these clouds drift in. So today we are going to see more clouds than yesterday. Still we're going to see the sunshine, but certainly a little more cloud cover than yesterday. Tracking that for you here. Notice also a few more showers. And most of this is going to be held towards the highlands into the New River Valley. We had a few stray showers slide through the highlands yesterday. We might be able to see that coverage a little bit into the Blue Ridge once we get towards 5, 6 o'clock. Still most of us today staying on the drier side. I still think that coverage is overdone. Looking towards 1030 at night. Note the extra clouds in our sky. So we are going to keep the extra cloudy skies overnight tonight. Looking towards tomorrow morning, just a few passing clouds. And once again, we'll bubble up a few scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly in the mountains, mainly west of the Blue Ridge. So I think really in central Virginia and south side over the next couple of days, we're going to be on the drier side of things. This afternoon we are mainly sunny again. I do think we're going to see a few extra clouds in the mix. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s. Tonight we are seasonable. Temperatures back to the mid 60s overnight. So we're starting to see those temperatures all over the place start to creep back up a little bit. A slight chance for a few showers over the next few days. Better chances for rain heading into the start at least of the upcoming weekend. Still no 90s. Still no 90s. That is correct. And we uh, always talk about we can still get 90s well into September. And uh, our little date there with fall, pretty short lived. Those two refreshing mornings. It's refreshing for some of us, especially across Southside. But Jenna, as you mentioned, a huge change, especially in the Roanoke Valley when you step out the door this morning. That's okay. It's still summer. Yeah, it's still summer. We'll hang yeah. on to it because we'll be wanting these back come uh, January, right. February. Yeah, don't mention so, that. So it's too, 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 early. Early. too early. Yeah, <laughs> way too early. 512.